Good morning, YouTube. It's early. Oh, it's 7.30 now. I got here a little after 7. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on already. Dad is fueling up the combine, putting DEF in, getting ready for the day. Phil's getting seed around to keep planting wheat. There's potentially rain coming this afternoon. So we're going to go as quick as possible here. I'm going to get this uh, generator fired up so we can get the beans out of the truck that's there. We've got to go empty the grain cart and start moving stuff. She's still warm. Let's go! 9.9. Oh, that's no good. Oh well, nothing you can do about it. You guys saw how fast they dry out throughout the day yesterday, and that's where we ended up, so. All right, just getting this truck emptied up. Bad news, Dad's fueling up the combine. He just came over to me and says we got a bearing out. Hopefully it's an easy one. Right there, that bearing is gone. You know, we heard something squeaking yesterday and couldn't pinpoint it, and it was intermittent. And then I couldn't adjust the fan speed. That should have been my giveaway. But, um, yeah, well, looks like it's a relatively easy one to change. We'll see. We're getting it apart. Uh, probably. There's the outside of the bearing. Pulley off. We got to get the inner race off and uh, find a new bearing. I don't know that we have one, so might have to run to a dealer. There is some fresh grease in there. Whether it got into the bearing or not, who knows. But we did grease it. Um, this is a little goofed up, but for the most part, I think the holders, eh, I might get one if they have one. All right, we gotta find this bearing. <sighs> so that uh, bearing race is on that shaft quite deep in there and you can't get a puller in very good, especially with that tire there. So Dad's just gonna cut it off. I'll reach over his shoulder here. And uh, by the time that cools, I sent my uh, brother-in-law, Scott's here, so he's going to get the parts for us. He'll be at least an hour and a half. By the time he gets back, that'll be cooled down and we can get some other stuff moved in the meantime. There you go. That piece is hot. Don't touch it. While we are waiting for our parts to get here, um, we're going to move the grain cart to the next field. So there's a little bit of beans in that. I'm going to empty them into this truck. Dad's going to take the truck back to the farm and empty it. And then bring a pickup and come pick me up because we're going, the farm's two miles that way. We're going 10 miles that way, opposite directions. Um, so we're just going to get the cart down there to the field and park it. And then we'll come back and hopefully our parts will be close. We can get the combine put back together. We got to get a semi down there. We got to get a pickup moved around. We got all kinds of stuff to move. Next up to move the 4020 in this empty seed wagon. Uh, Phil's loading the air seeder right now. He's about got this field done. Oh, look, they're spreading over there. Cool. Um, so we're going to take this back to the farm because we were going by. And then we got to move his truck to the next field and get the bean head moved. Our parts should be back pretty quick, too. I know the fertilizer spreading is something that a lot of people do on their own. We don't have time. So we just let other people take care of it for us. Our combine parts are here, so we're working on getting it put back together. This should go relatively quickly. I think we got it. That should work. We're just going to get the belt put back on and get it tightened up right. All right. I believe we have it all back together. We are going to pull out in the field out here by the farm and um, run it just to make sure everything's working all right, especially since the field that we're going to is right on a main road and it's not a good spot to test stuff when you're trying to open things up. So we'll just make sure, but I think we're good. So when I had to take that belt off, I had to loosen the uh, the tensioner up. It's on a variable speed drive on that for that fan uh, drive. So when I loosened it up, it slowed it way down. It was down to like 550 or something. So I'm speeding it back up. It's adjusting. There's a little electric motor that turns a screw, which squeezes the uh, drive pulley together, which makes it bigger diameter, makes everything spin faster, stretches the belt, and that those there's some springs on that pulley that then allow that driven pulley to spread apart, which makes it smaller diameter, which makes it turn faster. So 
it's working its way up. We're gonna go up to about 1100, 1050 to 1100 is about where I've been running it. So it's working, it's adjusting, and it seems to be good. That's what we wanted to see. All right. Well, I was gonna take dad down to where the head is, but he got my mom to take him. So we're heading out with the combine down to the uh, to the field where we're gonna combine. It'll take us a minute to get there. Dad's probably gonna run the combine today and I will run trucks. Um, these fields, sorry, are right next to the elevator that we haul a lot of our stuff to. So given that they're likely gonna be very dry beans, um, we're gonna haul them straight to the elevator there. Should be about, Five loads is all. It, it, yeah, no big deal. It's 1030 when we're rolling out of the farm to head to the field here. So um, I was hoping to be on the road by 10 yesterday. Last night was my plan. Bearing failure cost us a half an hour of time. It's okay. No big deal. We'll, we'll be fine. Just pulled in and look, there's my head. Timed that out just right. So... Uh, we'll get it hooked up here, and then I think I'm going to let Dad run the combine. Uh, I'll get the cart put back where he needs it. There's a, a little field back here, and then we're going to start in the back, and then we've got those over there on the other side of this house. But um, these are uh, where we're going to start, and then i got to take the pickup back and get the semi-truck. Okay, it is uh, about 11 o'clock, so the beans are probably a little bit wet right now, which is, is okay. Um, it's sort of cloudy overcast today and there's chances of rain this afternoon. I'm really hoping we get done with these, there's 75 acres here in these three fields, before it starts raining. Um, so we're, that's why we're in a hurry here this morning. But um, they're probably not going to dry out throughout the day as fast as they have been. So if we get down to 13 by the time we're done, that'd be good. What an awesome, impressive machine. It's so much fun to watch. I just got back to the farm to grab a semi truck. Dad just called me. He said he was getting a code on the combine about um, a fuel pressure issue. And we just got that tanker load of fuel in yesterday. It's possible they stirred up some sediment and stuff that's on the bottom of our bulk tank. When we filled the combine this morning, we probably sucked some stuff up. It's in the fuel tank, so now it's getting in the fuel filter. So I'm going to grab a set of fuel filters for that. We're gonna take them with us. We can change them in the field if we need to. Seeing how I'm the one driving truck all day, we're taking the good truck, provided it starts. I forgot about all this walking I'm gonna have to do. We gotta leave the trucks parked up there by the road because right here is too soft to drive trucks across. So we'll cart everything up there. Problem is when I park the truck, the cart's back here at the field. And when I park the cart, it's gotta be back here in the field. And the truck's up there, so I gotta do a little walking. We're gonna make sure we take as few trips as possible. I should be able to do this in two, maybe three. I don't know. It'll be fine. Okay, we got our truck full. Dad's got this little field done. There's only like six acres, seven acres here. Working on the one in the back, there's 22 ish, something like that, in the back there. It should all fit on this cart. That's good. There's 46 over there with some really big, deep ditches in between here. These ditches were all installed when they put the turnpike in. The turnpike is right there, 80-90. It's drainage for that uh, to get the water away from the, the roadway, so they had a good road bed, I guess. I don't know. So these are controlled or maintained, I should say, by the turnpike commission something. I don't know. They had to put a new crossing in here a couple years ago and it was a whole ordeal to get it done. That's what I know. Waiting. Got a line at the elevator today. They are dumping in both pits, beans, so it's a little faster than otherwise, but everybody's rolling right now, they're busy. I got back to the field here and Dad's jumped across the ditch. We're up right by the road. Um, the last field here, the bigger one. Our grain cart, can you guys even see it? It's way somewhere all over there, way back over there. I was gonna walk back there and get it. Well, what I was gonna do was ride in the combine with Dad to the back of this field and go get it. But by the time I got here, he's walking halfway across the field over there. So I guess I will sit here and wait. I'll watch football. Well, I was just waiting for Dad to unload and uh, we broke the chain. 
unloading auger chain, a connector link came apart. Should be an easy fix. We'll see. Well, dang. Um, so this chain's got a couple of connector links. They're all right in a row for some reason. It's factory chain, we bought it. It's not like we added them for the fun of it. That's the way it comes. Um, anyway, one of them broke and it kind of spread the chain link piece apart uh, and we lost part of it. So um, we were trying to just take it out and put it back together without it, but I don't have enough give in it. So we've got to find a link to make our chain long enough. This is what we need. This one is broken, spread apart, and I don't have the, the other pieces for it. We lost them. I do not have one. Thought we did, might, we don't. The John Deere dealer does. One of the John Deere dealers, at least the one I called that's a little bit closer than the one we normally deal with. They're open till four, it's Saturday. Dad is on his way. It is uh, 2.30 right now, so he's gonna go get that and meet us back over at the field because they're a lot closer to the field than the other dealer. That's why we're, yep, anyway. Um, so we've got just a touch of downtime and we'll be back up and running, provided it's not raining. So this is about right. Raindrops. Bummer. It's raining. <sighs> Bummer. We're about 40 acres away from being done down there. We needed a couple of hours. So this breakdown did not cost us getting it done because it hasn't been two hours since it happened. So it is what it is. Oh man, Phil doesn't have a. Oh yeah, he does. I thought the. I had plug for my phone charger it was not there. But anyway, um, I'm going to take the truck back to the field. Dad's going to meet me there. Uh, we did not tarp the grain cart, so I want to empty it. And uh, I can't do anything about the combine. I can't close the covers until we get it empty. But at least the beans in the cart don't have to get wet. So we'll wait for them there, and then we can get it emptied as soon as we can. We'll have a full load. We'll haul those in, and then we'll probably call it a day. All right, this is not ideal. Um... I can't close the grain tank covers with beans in there, so we've got to get it empty. We can't get it empty until Dad gets here with our parts. He is on his way, fortunately. Our tarp was open longer than it needed to be. That's not the way you want to rehydrate your beans. I know they were too dry, but getting them rained on is not ideal. Look at the water running out of the grain tank. Oh, gosh. The rotten beans are going to be just awful. And i got to work in that. Oh. These uh, go-wing doors do make a nice rain shield, though. I am worried if I pull that truck into this field, I will not be able to get out. So, I'm either going to try and figure out how to load it on the road, or, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet, but I don't really want to pull it in here if I don't have to. If I am a good enough truck driver that I can back it in here and keep my drive tires on this grass, we'll be okay. I might try and do that. This road's awfully busy to be blocking, though. See our giant billboard? That's where my wife works. Anybody needs a Ford, go buy it from them. Believe it or not, that went pretty well. I only held traffic up for a, about a half a minute. And I think we'll get out. So, all right, we just gotta wait for dad to get here. Shouldn't be too long. If I would have been a little smarter, I would have rolled that tarp on that cart before we left. It wasn't raining then. Well, that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, well, I'll unroll the tarp and get it unloaded. Get back to finishing. Yeah, somehow I doubt it. All right, unload it, please. Poof, it blows apart. Oh no, it's working. All right, well, that's good. We'll have enough on the grain cart here to fill this truck. We can uh, maybe haul another load in if they're still open. They might have closed because it's raining and it's Saturday. Called over to the elevator. They are still there. They said, we're leaving, but we'll be there for 15 minutes and we're 10 minutes away, so bring them in. It's okay, so we gotta unload it and go. Huh. I have no idea how much rain we got, but it was enough to make things a little sloppy. Yikes. Tarp it, hurry. Well, I'm not the only one here. That makes me feel better. Oh. They didn't even make me untarp to get uh, probed. 
sweet. I did have to go out and unroll the tarp a little bit, just a little bit while we were unloading. If you don't, and you just let that thing, could be, we dump the beans so fast here, just open the door up all the way, it'll actually suck the tarp down. Puts a lot of stress on it. The truck next to me didn't do that, and I thought his tarp was gonna rip. So I unroll it a little bit so we don't have that vacuum effect. But I got soaked. Anyway, get my ticket and back to the farm. All right, guys. Well, I'm not exactly sure where I left off. It was raining. I was hauling beans, I think. I got back to the farm, and uh, it was still raining. Talked to Phil a little bit, and then uh, I went in the house to hang out with the boys who were hanging out with their cousin, Parker, who was in yesterday's video. Uh, we watched some of the Ohio State football game, and now we are heading home to go watch our Spartans tonight, huh? What do you say, Brayson? Go green? Go green. Yeah. So, um, we had a great week. We had, we got a lot of beans combined this week. We were doing corn the first part of the week. Um, we are not quite half done with soybeans. Somewhere between a third to a half done. We are about a third done with corn. So things have gone really well. Um, yields have been some, some excellent, some disappointing, and everything in between. Um, but for the most part, we're going to be just fine. Things are good. So... Uh, it's a little disappointing to get rained out where we're at right now. Uh, I was really hoping to get that done down there because we're so far away. We're 10 miles from the home farm and uh, we're kind of stuck there. And whether we pull out and go do corn next week if it's going to be rainy or not, I don't know. Then we got to go back again and it's just a long trip to make. So we'll see. We're going to let the weather play out. We had ended up with about a half inch of rain so far. They're calling for rain tomorrow and for really for a lot of the next week. So um, who knows, we'll see what we get. If we can shell corn and not do beans, we'll probably do that. If we can finish those beans where we're at, even if they're a little wet, we'll go do that. So um, thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm probably taking tomorrow off. So we'll see you again Monday morning. Say bye everybody. Bye.